fish into a soup then burbot is definitely one of the best options out there especially because of how well the fish holds together when boiled all right i'm going to start off by finally chopping up some bacon i don't believe you can make any chowder without bacon the role it plays works beautifully with the rest of the ingredients after browning up some bacon i'm going to toss it aside and chop up some carrots and onions in small pieces Then I'll add some olive oil into the pot along with some carrots, onions and give it a few minutes on low heat to sweat. Next I grab these cod like textured burger fillets and I'll just randomly chop up this fish. I don't really need to see any cube like cuts especially because I want some big pieces of burger in this soup. Once I got this all chopped up, I'll throw them into the pot and give it a stir until the fish starts to stiffen up a little bit. I'll add some salt and corn, stir it all together, and then I'll just let it cook slowly for a couple minutes. Now of course you need potatoes in the soup, especially because it plays an important role in giving the chowder its thickness, so I finally chop up some potatoes into small cubes. Once the fish starts to stiffen up and the corn starts to glow its yellow color, I'll throw in about 3 cups of water, or you could even use broth if you really wanted to, and about 2 cups of milk and 1 cup of cream. I'll then add about half a cup of flour to of course thicken up the soup and give it a good stir. About 10 minutes in, I'll just add in my potatoes, stir them up nicely and then set the stove on medium heat. Now here's just some wild black trumpet mushrooms my brother picked this fall. I'm not sure if mushrooms really play a role in chowder or not, but these mushrooms just give off an amazing earthy flavor. And I thought it would be a good idea to add some diversity to this chowder, so I'll add them in. Here of course are the clams I'll be using in this clam chowder. I didn't really need to add these in because I have the fish, but I wanted these clams to be in here just because they add so much flavor to the chowder and it's what makes the chowder clam chowder. Now I'll just slowly simmer these clams with some olive oil and butter and then about a few minutes in I'll add in just a little bit of white wine to help steam these clams and also to be part of the liquid I add to the soup later on. Alright, look at that. Just watching these clams open up was just some great entertainment on its own. Now I'm just going to add most of these clams to the soup along with this juice. And then a little bit of parsley. And give it a quick stir. And boom. There it is. wild caught burbot clam chowder you can have this hot right off the stove you could have this cold with some limes you could cook this at the cottage with your fresh catch it doesn't matter this dish is definitely in the top 10 of one of my favorite things to cook you guys should definitely try this out anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that video i'm gonna be doing a lot more of these small cooks and even a lot of catch a cook so make sure you guys subscribe comment share and i'll see you guys next week